Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome back to some more Machabellum. With the chaotic fun mode introduced, a lot of kind of weird strategies have emerged and yeah, this replay will feature one of those. It is between Cody Fly and TDH, Blue here, Area Specialist with Arc Lights and Sledgehammers, added some Fangs in front and Red is Marksman Specialist with Fangs and Phoenixes. Adding more fangs. Looks like red fangs did by enough time. Clean up blues, couple of fangs, and then the phoenixes and the level 3 marksmen. Easy peasy. Cleaning up those sledgehammers and arc lights. And round 2, already a unit drop here. Level 2 stormcrawler, 1 scorpion, 2 level 3 crawlers, or 1 level 2 mustang. Ooh, red going for the scorpion. Honestly, I don't like this. Uh, Red already has the Marksman and the Phoenixes as good damage for the Sledgehammers and everything. Maybe because of the health, I guess. Could be a good tank because blue doesn't really have damage. So I guess it's okay. Would have preferred probably the Mustangs to help deal with the Chaff quicker. And blue is going for some storm callers. Kind of same idea. Storm callers also help with the chaff here. And potentially good against the scorpion pick, which was picked here. So, good to have these storm callers, though they are on the wrong side. On accident, of course. Or by, by chance, rather. Should be a good round for red again, I believe. I don't think blue has the damage to deal with the, so uh, with the scorpions. Outside of the storm collars. And oh, they are kind of locked on now. But it's pretty late. And pretty much everything else is dead. And yeah, right side tower is going down. So yeah, these scorpions are not going to die. This one even gold damage and everything and can get leveled so pretty nice for now at the very least amp core for red Ooh, amp core scorpion yes level 2 scorpion with amp core i like this 72,000 hp already and blue did pick improved wasps Ooh, i see and also going for an Overlord already, because Area Specialist. And yeah, if Mothership gets picked at some point, the Mothership will spit out these Improved Wasps. Which is kind of nice. Red working on some more Chaff. And level on Scorpion, level on Phoenixes. But yeah, as soon as scorpions get established, overlords come out all the time, pretty much. They're so good, yeah. Damage against the scorpions, and also obviously scorpions cannot shoot air, so overlords are a very good choice. Though, of course, still the level 3 marksman and the phoenix is here on the board as well. But that problem can, over time, probably also be solved with Mothership. Tech upgrade on the Overlord. And the Wasps will tank the shots and Overlord can take down everything. Get by red. 
and wasp for, for blue and double overlord and yeah these wasps also will pro uh, will spawn as improved wasps with more damage and attack and range it's kind of <laughs> kind of very good oh by the way someone in my comments mentioned that apparently bear like said <laughs> That if you pick an improved card, like improved wasps, for example, um, that will prevent wasps from showing up in the free unit selection. So all kinds of improved whatever will prevent them from showing up as free units. I was not sure about this and I was trying to test it, but they never showed up. I But yeah... Th could have just been by, by chance, bad luck and everything, but apparently uh, that is the way it is, so they do not show up 100%. Just so you all know, that's quite important to know. Because I did pick improved cards like round 2 uh, very often, and then was just waiting for them to come as free units, <laughs> but that never happened. <laughs> so I wasted credits uh, in a lot of my games. Anyways, uh, kind of similar round here, last round, red winning with the Marksman and Phoenixes. Not quite enough time bought just yet for these overlords. Blue going for some more Stormcallers. Stormcallers pretty good against Scorpions, but also against these Fangs of course. And it's also kind of stacked up here, so yeah, Stormcaller hits should land kind of nicely. Also might go for Incendiary Bomb here next turn or something. And then the fire lands here and even if it doesn't hit the fangs directly, uh, they will walk in. And so will the crawlers here, so yeah, fire could be very good for blue. And with the fangs out of the way much quicker, the overlords will also take down the phoenixes and uh, this marksman here and everything quicker. But for now, not quite enough. Well, on the right side actually coming through and winning. And left side as well, phoenix is going down, so oh, already working. Phoenix, uh, the fangs were the problem here, previous turn, and this was now basically solved with storm colors yeah this overlord will be enough to finish everything up supply yeah I guess both players well, it's round 6. Actually, it's not that easy of, an pick, of a pick. Especially now that economy is not as valuable overall because you get so many free units. Uh, could have also been... I didn't pay attention to all the other cards. But I think a barrier was there, for example. Maybe... Well, not great for either player. So, no, don't know. Maybe top supply was the best pick here after all. Red did go for mech rage on those fangs. So yeah, a lot of fangs here with range and mech rage and blue did go for incendiary on those song callers, kind of as expected. So these fangs are going to be really, really sad and also these crawlers will probably run in here as well. Yeah, fire should be really good here. Oh, forward crawlers though, I did not see those. Quite good to distract some storm caller shots. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter too much. Thanks to run into the fire for the most part. And... Yeah, fire on the ground. Pretty good. Uh, in this patch in particular, because there's so much stuff going on. And there are so many units all over the place. And if you have fire on the ground... A lot of those units just um, burn. Uh, but yeah, in this particular case, so many fangs. And also multiple packs of crawlers. So it's really good here and yeah, quite the hard win now for blue. Let's see how red decides to deal with this. Honestly, at this point, maybe War Factory with Missile Interceptor would be the best. 
Though there are three units. Let's see. Or Mustangs with Missile Interceptor. <laughs> I do not like it, but maybe on a turn like this where you get six Mustangs for free, get Missile Interceptor and buy more Mustangs, maybe it works. I don't know. I've never tested it. But uh, uh, not in this patch, I, at least. Um, overall, Mustang Missile Intercept is pretty bad, though. They get overwhelmed kind of easily, and once they start dying, they have less missile interception, and then they yeah, just continue dying, and that's it. They are, they are not great. Um, blue... Ooh, both players now all of a sudden going aggro here on the front line. Uh, red with steel balls with uh, mechanical division, and blue... Adding some fangs and crawlers, and also did pick the raves. Ooh! <laughs> I make exciting noises uh, this entire game because this is interesting. Uh, D Gen Beam Raves. Forward D Gen Beam Raves to basically support this entire army here. Uh, or rather to, yeah, debuff all the enemy units. That's interesting. Also, double tech on Overlord, uh, range and launcher Overlord. I do love these techs together. Could also get uh, missile intercepted though, to a degree. So overall, uh, War Factory with missile interceptor could have been really, really good here for Red as well. To deal with the storm callers as well as with the Overlords to a degree, at least. It's not uh, ideal against overlords, it's not like perfect missile interception, but it would also help a bit. Um, for now though... I was too distracted. I believe the wraiths probably died somewhat quickly because they are so far in front to the phoenixes and everything. But overall, still a very close round here, not a lot of damage. And another free unit drop. That is something that I think they should change, by the way. Uh, I don't think free unit drops should show up in two rounds back to back. Um, there should be at least one round in between. Because this is too impactful when they show up back to back. Too much going on and doesn't really give uh, the parties uh, one one free turn where they can actually adjust before uh, already there are new units and new new stuff to think about and yeah it's two yeah random unit drops back to back are just a bit too much randomness in my opinion uh, we can argue about the randomness of this patch uh, in general of course but yeah back to back it's too much uh, I'm I'm very convinced anyways uh, red with the fortresses here and blue with the rhinos double level 5 rhino here with whirlwind to take down the steel walls as well as the crawlers that spawn out of them and another level 1 rhino in the corner here pulling and taking down these crawlers probably yeah should not die before it spawns in and then also some shielded wasps here to distract these phoenixes, I guess. Mothership upgrade now as well on the overlords. So there are wars now everywhere and wars with shield. This could be quite the good turn for blue, maybe with the wars. Not sure if that's enough though. Missile interceptor turrets on red side now doing some work doing a lot of work actually shooting down stormcaller shots as well as overlord shots decently it's not as good as a war factory but it does help for sure and yeah actually good enough i believe because of the missile interceptor turrets red is winning this round without them pretty sure it would have been blue's round Oh, another spawn. Oh, never mind. One Phoenix already locked on. Yep. Rip. 
All right, all right. Uh, a lot of misintercepted turrets did go down though, like four or something. That's uh, 400 credits lost there. So economy-wise looking better for blue now. Heavy armor for red. And more fortresses and the fortresses getting the anti-air barrage. Blue, I think, picked the photon here for the rhino. The photon coating. And the heavy armor is going on this fortress for red. Ooh, photon emission now fully tagged overlords here all of a sudden. <laughs> Interesting. And more overlords, of course. Yeah, two more overlords. All right. So, yeah, might even want to put them in front so they give photon emission to these units as well. Seems good, I think. All right, let's see. Phoenix and Fortress with anti-air barrage against these overlords here. And some degen beam raves. What an emission so good though. With the immediate engagement of all the units, you get so much value out of the photon emission. 16 seconds long. 50% uh, reduced damage, so probably going to get all value out of it. Also, green square, it's gone. Nice. Okay, photon mission is gone now. Fortress anti air barrage, not ideal against overlords, but definitely does help with the wasps. In case you didn't know, the anti-air barrage on fortresses does not scale with level. So it gets worse and worse. If, if your opponent just levels the air units, uh, the fortress anti-air barrage will kind of stop doing the work and will kind of not kill the units anymore because they just have too much HP. Also in general, overlords have a lot of HP in comparison, so it's not it's not ideal. Anti-air barrage fortresses against overlords. But well, that's why the Phoenixes are here too. Both players going for the orbital bombardment. Could be kind of good for both players. Both players with a lot of air units. Well not a lot, but uh red does have four packs of Phoenixes, but they are very important. Yeah, this this Phoenix is allied top one in damage. And this one is ally top 3. Yeah. These phoenixes, super important for red to deal with the overlords. So if these go down to the orbital bombardment, that would be quite rough for red, I believe. Also orbital here. And, well, if it's not getting bubbled, can also take down a lot of the storm callers. Take down some wars that are getting spawned and deal some decent damage to the overlords, I guess. Here we go. So much gold everywhere. <laughs> All the photon emissions. So blue buffing the units with photon and debuffing the enemy units uh, with the d -gen beam. This is kind of nice. And oh my god. Red... Wait, what happened? Red got so overrun now. The, the fortresses got super deleted. And the phoenixes did survive the orbital here on this side, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Overlords all of a sudden overpowering Red's army like crazy. And this is insane amounts of damage here. And yeah, this is GG. <laughs> all right. This was kind of nice. Debuffing your opponent with degen beam and buffing your own units with photon emission. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's spectate one more. Alright, the second match today. 
will be between HD Zusauer and Ske. German on German action, commentated and casted by a German as well. German overload. A blue marksman specialist with crawlers phoenixes. And of course in the level 3 marksman. And red is heavy armor specialist. One of the big, what is the word for it? Benefactors? Uh, this benefited from the new patch quite a lot. Heavy armor was kind of one of the worst specs before, but now it's one of the best maybe. Because all units get buffed and with so many free units coming out and in general so many units on the board, they all get buffed, have more HP, which is kind of nice. And yeah, red with Arclight Sledgehammer and is adding a marksman. Well, one marksman and another Arclight actually. All right, let's see. Uh, blue start, kind of nice, into red start. With phoenixes as well as the marksman against sledgehammers and arc lights here. Yeah. Deleting red's army kind of quickly. The one marksman really helping though. Is able to take down some phoenixes. But yeah, that is it for round one. Missile strike, yeah. Looking the most likely, yep, for both players. Taking down the marksman, taking down phoenixes and crawlers. Yep. Blue adding crawlers and phoenixes. Red added another marksman. Makes sense. This marksman was really good last turn. So getting another one here for this side. And what else? Unlocking fangs and buying some fangs. The first chaff unit. Chaff is not as strong anymore, I, I feel like, uh, in this patch. It's still very important, of course. But uh, once again, with the boards being so full and everything and so much stuff coming out, um, it's very likely that there will be fire on the ground at some point and then the chaff is just... Yeah, the fire just gets so much value because of so much stuff everywhere. Or in general, just the opponent getting offered. I don't know, in some scenarios even wraiths might be really good and wraiths can also chaff clear really good and yeah. Overall, a little bit less valuable I feel like than last patch, but still important. Right side once again, getting through kind of quickly, taking the tower. And yeah, that's the round here for blue. Alright, alright. Ske did win the Asia tournament earlier today. Kind of nice, very good. Congrats to that. Ooh, level 3 Mustangs, juicy. Level 2 Scorpion. I feel like if I see this, I pick this and try to make carry Mustangs, usually. But, well, these these players are better than I am, most likely. Scorpion and, ooh, Ske is going for the Mustang though. Mm, this level 2 Scorpion is kind of chunky, so I'm not sure. And yeah. This is what you do, go range immediately when you pick a high level pack of Mustangs. So they deal as much damage as possible while not dying, of course. So they need to stay back a bit. Second Scorpion on the right here as well. And more Phoenixes. Okay, can this Scorpion die quickly enough? Is this enough damage here with two level 1 marksmen and the mustangs? I'm not sure it is. Yep, 
Phoenix is going down super quickly though. Yeah, this... <laughs> this uh, scorpion is uh, a bit of a problem. Mustang's good though here against the phoenixes at the very least. Oh, and... Nice! Mustangs did get the level uh, to scorpion and farmed some XP. Not quite enough to win the round yet, but... Oh, this could turn any moment, I feel like. Heat specialist for blue and shield device specialist for red. Hmm, interesting. Shield device specialist against scorpions and... Uh, phoenixes and all that. I feel like this damage is already really high, so I'm not sure if you really want the shields all that much. But I guess it only costs 50 credits, the 50 opportunity cost. And red adding some more chaff, crawlers behind the towers. And some more marksmen as well. Oh, one more marksman. And also got the range tag on the arc lights. Faster chaff clear. Alright. And more crawlers. So three packs of crawlers total. Wait, where's the third pack? Oh, in the corner. Okay. And blue did get, I think, range on the phoenixes this turn. And what else? What did blue spend the money on? I guess upgrades? Just levels and range on phoenixes? And maybe also some crawlers? Yeah, the crawlers in the corners are new. Alright. Also some fangs, I believe. Oh, a singular crawler here on the left did distract another shot from the level 2 scorpion. And yeah, now I think it's already starting to look better, yeah. Um, Chaff Wars manipulated or kind of won a bit better now uh, for red. And yeah, Mustangs and Marksmen can take down the Phoenixes real quick. And Scorpions, yeah, got distracted. Quite a lot by Chaff. Three units. Four wasps. Overlord level three. Four storm callers or two level three rhinos. Yeah. <laughs> Blue going for the four storm callers and give it, is giving them incendiary bomb tech. So there will be fire everywhere. I mean, wasps are kind of nice here for red. And also, Ske is kind of known for playing wasps. So maybe? Blue doesn't really have all that much anti-air. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. The Ske special. Going for wasps. I don't... I feel like I've never seen a match where Ske didn't have wasps. So... <laughs> was kind of a safe bet. Uh, level 4 Mustangs here now. These are level 2. Missile Strike is getting protected against. Another Scorpion here for blue and some more Fangs. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, this fire though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Deleted the level 4 Mustang pack pretty much right away. Red needs to manip manipulate this. These storm callers cannot shoot there. That's way too much value. Next turn, uh, Red has to put uh, crawlers here or something. 
However, the wasps, though, are actually doing work. Distracting... Yep, all the phoenixes and the level 3 marksmen for long enough and now they are the remaining units. Oh no, this bubble will fall as well, I believe. Kill him! Nope. Bubble is also getting lost here. Alright, but wasps did carry this round. At least this round. Maybe blue is adding some mustangs now and all of a sudden the wasps are not nearly as good anymore. Saw it's scorpion though. Get red. Range on these marksmen. And blue did go for the wasp swarm. And is also getting wasps. So not adding mustangs but wasps instead. And yeah. These crawlers here to distract storm collar shots. And not only that. They will distract these or will catch these. And also these crawlers will run into the fire as well. So not only are these getting distracted and don't shoot the mustangs here right away. They will also burn their own crawlers here. And same on the right side. Triple wasp though in the back here with energy shield. Okay, let's see about the fire this turn. Yeah, this is so nice. Oh my god, the crawlers from behind the tower as well. Still ran in to a good degree. Very nice. And yeah, this fire here, still not on the mustangs. And mustangs are shredding the wasps here. Same on the right side. Very nice. Yeah, this is how you manipulate storm crawlers and fire on the ground. Which is more important than ever. In my experience so far with the patch because there's fire every every match uh, <laughs> either fire storm callers or incendiary bomb on the um, Vulcan or something so you need to have an eye for manipulating that not only that it doesn't hit you but also you can often manipulate in this way for example where it will also hit your enemy units so they hurt themselves uh, keep an eye out for that that's a very important skill right now. EMP for both players. Moving these. Uh, doing the mobile beacon trick here on both crawlers, I believe. Will they now run here? So there's a trick slash, in my opinion, bug. Where you can mobile beacon crawlers in a direction. Um, or mobile beacon the unit in, into a certain direction and then even if you take off that mobile beacon they will still run into this direction because they face this direction and are more likely to run here so maybe these crawlers will now not run towards these even though the mobile beacon is not on them anymore so yeah that shouldn't be a thing I think it's weird that a mobile beacon that doesn't exists anymore that's not active anymore still influences units that's that shouldn't be a thing um red did add more mustangs and also got the area specialization here does want to take down these wasps and phoenixes much quicker and much easier oh oil as well uh i see oil every game same reason uh just to for it to get set on fire not for the slow effect like, nobody ever uses it for slow anymore. But for the uh, fire. Every every game, <laughs> I feel like. And... All of a sudden, a super hard win for blue here. What changed? Range on the scorpions? Oh my god, almost dead. 
<laughs> that was a ton of damage. What else changed? Just range on scorpions? Question mark. Maybe. Permanent specialist for red. And skip for blue. Same here, oil, going to get set on fire, oh, he's somewhat getting, oh my god, actually putting down those bubbles here, and oil will not land. Were these missiled last turn as well? Were there sentries here? I'm not sure. That could also help. Get the chaff forward much quicker again. Was with range now. Alright. Temp speed, temp range. Hmm. What happened on Red Sport? Oh, also Stormcallers. There they are. Okay, Stormcallers with fire, I believe, were added. At least one or two of them. Were already a thing last turn, but not sure if they had the incendiary upgrade yet. The wasps on the left, kind of a problem. Mustangs did go down somewhat quickly. Right side looking kind of fine again now though. And ooh, very close round, but a win for red again. Nice, turn around here. I'm not sure if the elite marksman uh, attack did come out last turn. Uh, so this turn I mean. Um, might have also helped with the extra damage against the scorpions. Okay, three units, three level two raves, three level three hackers, two level six steel walls. Oh no, oh no, maybe. <laughs> okay, blue did pick the level six steel walls, but red did pick the level three hackers. Uh oh, this could be like a uh, very swingy round here potentially if these steel walls just get hacked here so this seems like pretty much the perfect counter pick if you exclude everything else just uh, hackers against these steel walls seems kind of nice uh, let's see if it's also going to work out that way and hackers already getting barrier and range tech and more hackers getting added so all of a sudden Six hackers or five hackers on the board for red. And let's see if these hackers can get these steel vaults. Yeah, doing the mobile beacon trick. Oh, I hate this. I, I want the devs to fix this. That that's stupid. It shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> that's uh yeah. Anyways. Ooh, what's this? Hello? Okay. Wait. Still though, I'm going to leave this one here to insta hack these uh, stormcaller. <laughs> okay. Stay with the place here. Oh, only got one, and now it's just hacking some fangs. Hacker is also taking arc lights, and yeah, the steel vaults here also getting hacked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hackers working on the scorpions, but they take a very long time. I'm not sure if that's enough. Oh my god, so close. Almost got this one, but then got one shot by the scorpion. Scorpion was not having it. And rip. Enough uh, storm callers and, uh, and scorpions 
with strong damage and yeah red was very low this was a very close win for blue nice game interesting interesting i know a lot of people do not like these hackers coming out as free units but i like them they they <laughs> they are they are very fun to watch all right gg's thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video take care bye